Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, so we move to the next part where we are going to solve one problem example here regarding your ideal ranking cycle But before we move going forward, I would like to recap on the concept uh, that we are going to learn actually in your uh, power cycle Alright, so we have the concept of uh, vapor power cycle Alright, and the cycle that we learn for, for your level is this ranking cycle. Okay, and the applications of this ranking cycle is one of it is in your steam power plant. And the concerns of this cycle or the concerns that you study right now is for you to find out right the thermal efficiency of this cycle so what does it mean by this thermal efficiency it is actually oh sorry okay this thermal efficiency is actually if we take the mathematical expressions, right, it is work net divided by your Qn. So at the end of the day, what you will need, okay, in order to calculate your thermal efficiency, okay, in order to calculate your thermal efficiency here, is that you need to find out what is work net, what is your Q in right so your work net consists of work pump which is considered as your work in and also work of your turbine which is considered as your work out and the other one that you will need is your Q in which is actually your Q of your boiler where you burn your fuel in order to to get the steam and so we would like to find out right from the tech, uh, the left hand side is your textbook we would like to find out uh, the thermal efficiency hence we need to consider uh, Q-in, work turbine and also your work pump so how are you going to get the value of your turbine and pump and also your boiler because you wanted to calculate the energy hence that's why you will need to produce the TS diagram first that label all the, the flows then only you will be able to calculate the enthalpy right so again what is enthalpy enthalpy is the measurements of uh, measurements of uh, energy okay so you can see from table a4 a5 and a6 because the working fluid that we are using is water so saturated water temperature table so enthalpy is in this column where you have hf hg and also hfg right so hf is considered as a liquid region HFG is considered as in a mixture region and HG is considered as saturated gas region. So let's have a look at this uh, problem over here. This is a problem uh, that occur in steam power plant okay, where it produces a 210 megawatt. So recall back your concept map over here. Okay. So this is a schematic diagram of a power plant, power plant, sorry, where you need to produce a 210 megawatt of electricity. So it, the turb, the steam should be able to turn your turbine to have that 210 megawatt. So basically, you already know your work of your turbine in the questions, right? However, you will need to look for the quality of the steam at the turbine exit what does it mean by the quality of the steam at the turbine exit so you can see from the te your textbook right chapter 10 on ranking cycle 
where you have this TS diagram over here. Okay, the quality of the steam at the turbine exit is actually in state 4. Right, so you have the turbine exit. Okay, so we have steam at high pressure and high uh, temperature, so it's going to turn your turbine. And when it expands inside your turbine, it's going to have a pressure drop and temperature drop. So some of the um, steam, which is in a gas form, are going to be um, in a mixture region where you have a combination of uh, steam and also some of water droplet. So we wanted to figure out how much of the steam has already turned into uh, some of the water. To understand better what was going on um, in your boiler, right? So this is the water coming in. So you, this is what happening inside your boiler. You are going to have some heat, right? And steam will be produced. So the steam will go into this piping and it will turn your turbine. So as you can see from this uh, YouTube video, you will see that the steam is coming into your turbine and your turbine blade will turn your shaft. So that is how the 210 megawatt is produced uh, from, from your questions over here. Okay. So the task given, you need to find how much the quality of the steam, right, that flowing through and now it's going uh, back into the system. Okay, this is the a good video, you should watch this video, right. So how much is going to change from steam into uh, partially uh, liquid water, right. So this is the task that we're given to you to find out. Uh, the quality of the steam at the turbine exit and also the thermal efficiency and also the mass flow rate of the steam so as you can see from the video here the steam is flowing okay? the steam is flowing in so it must have a certain uh, mass of the steam so you wanted to figure out how much steam is drawn into this, this system in order for you to produce that 210 megawatt of power all right uh, as we move uh, towards solving this problem please bear in mind i'm going to uh, back and forth using this property table from your textbook a4 a5 and a6 also uh, we are going to retrieve uh, the notes from chapter 2 properties of working fit on also the notes on chapter 6 where you have a steam power plant or vapor power cycle or ranking cycle hence without further ado let's get started with the solving the problem